I am Dr. Sharjeet and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel at the end. Now today I have got a very interesting, a practical video. I was performing a fake emulsification in nuclear sclerosis uh, 3 cataract and uh, pupil was well dilated, cornea was clear and patient was very cooperative and I told my assistant that uh, I hope uh, it will end. Uh, smoothly and very soon it's a very easy cataract for me and i performed uh, fake emulsification within minutes but while injecting foldable iol one haptic broke from the iol uh, at optic haptic junction now surgeon always learn from past mistakes and now i would like to narrate a story Almost three years ago, same thing happened. Um, uh, the uh, IOL broke at uh, one haptic broke at optic haptic junction, and uh, I put the IOL in the bag because I had performed smaller round capsulorexes and constricted the pupil, uh, and the um, IOL was well centered in a supine position. And my assistant said, "Job well done." But next morning, uh, the patient came with the complaints of double vision and there is something constantly moving uh, in my eye. When I examined the patient on the slit lamp, uh, the eye well had been rotated um, overnight and now it was inferiorly placed uh, and there was uh, diplopia because uh, half of the pupil was covered by the optic and half was bare aphakic. Patient was angry, annoyed, and uh, I straight away took him to the operation theater, removed that broken eye well, and implanted new eye well, and applied one 10 on nylon suture. And patient, uh, that patient is happy till date. So now let's come to today's case. That uh, as soon as I assessed that haptic is broken at optic haptic junction, I didn't uh, place the eye well uh, in the bag and I leave it uh, in the anterior chamber. I enlarged the main port uh, with 5.2 FECO knife, uh, removed it uh, one piece uh, and uh, replaced it with another uh, full uh, eye well. So from this video you can have uh, three messages, take home messages that uh, number one always place the eye well carefully in the injector uh, otherwise uh, it can be damaged number two in case uh, one haptic is uh, entrapped in the injector uh, while injecting eye well in the eye gently release the plunger and in more 90 percent of cases uh, the entrapped uh, haptic uh, will be released uh, unharmed Number three, in case uh, you do all maneuvers and haptic is broken, assess how much part of the uh, opti uh, haptic is missing. If it is broken at uh, optic haptic junction like here, you can see, then by no means uh, you should leave it in the eye like uh, today I replaced it uh, without a second thought. If haptic is half present, like here I would like to show you, I will try to cut it with a scissor and you can see if half of the haptic is, one is full haptic and one is half like here. You can then safely implant it in the bag and it will not dislocate. But if more than half uh, haptic uh, is uh, missing, uh, then it should be replaced. Like uh, now you can see that uh, on one side uh, full haptic is broken. Uh, so in that case uh, you should uh, replace the IOL. And on the other hand half haptic is broken. So it gives support if you implant it in the bag. So if one is full haptic and one is half uh, up haptic then you can safely implant it but uh, if more than half 
haptic is missing then you should replace it thank you very much